1994 Columbus Day Parade. I'm your host, Al DeTulio, and joining me this year for the 1994 Columbus Day Parade is my distinguished colleague at KBLE TV3, Evo Carmelli. Evo, it promises to be a great parade. It's not only a great parade, but it's also going to be a beautiful day. Temperature here is in about the mid to upper 60s. Nice little breeze, you know, makes it very comfortable. We're located on a Revere Street here in Revere, back of St. Anthony's Church, and we're on the reviewing stand, and this is basically where the tail end of the parade is going to end, approximately right around here. We are seeing two motorcycle police bikes coming into view. And we have here Christopher Columbus, played by Frank Trinzi. He's the city planner here in Revere, and he's playing, of course, Christopher Columbus, who's a back in 1492 with Nina Pinto and Santa Marina. And also coming into view is the police color guard representing the police department. And led by Chief James Russo. And just for the visually impaired, and also wearing a beautiful dress, uniforms of dark blue colors with their caps. And they're getting a very appreciative applause from the crowd. And also their chief is James Russo. That's correct. They look all great in their dress uniforms, they don't they, Evo? They certainly do. It's nice to see them all look very organized and in step, and it's nice to see that. And coming into view now is the Revere Fire Color Guard representing the fire department. Of course, and led by Chief Arthur Anderson. And they are as well wearing their blue dress uniforms with their shields. And looking just as sharp as their fellow brothers, the Revere Police Department. Absolutely do. And the crowd giving them a nice round of applause. Yes, that is correct. And we should point out to the viewers at home that both the police department and the fire department do such a great job in this city. That's correct. They do a very good job of protecting the city, and they make the city very proud to have the fire department and police department as they are. And stepping into camera view is the Knights of Columbus. Yes, they are a Catholic organization that has been around for approximately, well, I should say a little over 100 years. They're located here in Revere on Winthrop Ave. And they have been raising a lot of money this past weekend with the Tootsie Roll Drive, as I recall. They've been doing that around not only in Revere, but also in, in the surrounding communities. It's nice. And they're very well dressed. I like what they're wearing there. Very, very nice colors. We've got one with the, um, with the purple cape in the back there, or the purple hat there. Very, very, very distinguished. Looks very, very good. And they're saluting us here on the, the reviewing stand here, and now they are continuing on in the parade. Nice job. Crowd giving them a nice round of applause. Yep, deservingly so. You've, of course, been donating yourself um, some of the, for the Tootsie Rolls. I, I, have, yes. I don't like Tootsie Rolls myself, but I still donate the money and I give them to another family member. I think member. that's such a great, worthy cause Absolutely. that everybody should dig deep into their pockets when these folks come out during the Columbus Day weekend and give them. And okay. coming in to now, Reveal loves Governor Weld. Yes, we have William F. Weld, who, of course, is our governor. He's been the governor here since the early 90s. And he is also with Mayor Hass, who is the second-term mayor here in Revere. Nice to see him as well. It's nice to see the governor coming out to, to the people. Beautiful day out here and giving them a little wave and giving us a wave in return. It's nice to see that. Bob Hass looking great as ever. Oh, he always looks great. I see that we have some city count we have a city councilor here. It's Paul Bonfilio. Bonfilio, that's correct. Uh, and he's giving a wave here at the crowd. And we also have a beautiful car coming up. It's a let's see, the bumper sticker says 
Well, it looks like it's a 1948 car. I'm not sure. I'm not into um, um We don't have a listing as to what kind of car it is. But it's looking nice and shiny. It looks like it's ready for a parade. It is. It's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And now coming up next is the city councilors here of Revere. And we leading, have, uh, leading, the, leading the pack is President Al Fiore in his second term, and he's also the president of the city council. That is council. correct. In fact, not only do we have the city councilors, but we also have the school committee members as well. Some of we the have, members are Dick Penn from the city council. We have Peter Martino. We have George Colella, a city councilor and a longtime mayor here in the city of Revere. Correct. We also have Denise Salemi from the uh, school committee. Representative Bob DeLeo. That's correct. We have uh, John P. Jordan as well. We have a wide variety. I think they all came for the parade today, which is great. Coming up next is the Commission on Disability. Who is City Tatelman. And she has a big crowd there. Look at that. She's always so happy. She uh, she succeeded a very nice gentleman here in the city of Revere and Steve Rich, who did so much for the Commission on Disability. That's correct. And she does the community very proud now as well. And we should also point out that she has a cable television show called Open Access. That's correct. It's a phone It's a phone in show. It's a live phone in show and people are more than welcome. I'm not sure exactly when the next well the airing's always on Wednesdays at 4 o'clock. The next live show I'm not quite sure when it will be but it, just look at our community bulletin board to find out. And, you know, as parades go, sometimes groups do get mixed up a little bit, and it may be a little bit of a lag in between. That sometimes happens when parades start to get in view. Yeah, that's okay. Well, we're, we're like, crossing out names here that should have been back a little bit, and it's okay. At least we're we're pretty organized, and it looks beautiful. And we've got some uh, Weld and Salucci supporters over to our left now. And we look ahead a little bit, and we don't see too many things happening at this point. Would that be... A uh, cue to us to indicate that it's the end of a division? It may be an end of a division, but as I said, parades do sometimes, people do get in front of other people, and sometimes they have to stop, get things reorganized. Mm -hmm. And we should also point out to the viewers at home that this parade is not put on by the city, but by private donations of many local businessmen coming together to help put this parade on, to provide the community with a great service such as the Columbus Day Parade. Great. And I understand from from talking with some talking with some folks at talking with some folks at City Hall, a person that we want to thank very much here on KBLE TV3 is Elaine Salvatelli from the Mayor's Office, who was instrumental in helping us with the information that we have, and also Jerry Foley. Jerry Foley, a tremendously nice man. You call Jerry Foley up anytime. He was there to help us with this parade and the information that we are giving to you at home. Jerry, Elaine, thank you very much. You guys did a terrific job and helping us. I'll tell you, it just makes our job a thousand times easier. I mean, without their help, we would be sitting there guessing like everybody else. I mean, geez, who's coming up next? Well, thanks to them, not only do we know when they're going to come, or generally speaking, when they're going to come, but we also have some background information as to who, what they do. So it's, it's I'm very grateful for that, too. And they were so very gracious about it. You know, we've, I've called Jerry several times on the phone, and Jerry was right there updating all the information that he had. Two and three days in advance, he was there helping us. Well, Alan, actually, you've done a phenomenal job in researching yourself. You've been at it for the last couple of weeks. Even though things have changed in the last couple of weeks as far as like, oh, well, this group is here and that group is there, you've really kept up the work. And I have to thank Al Dottolio <laughs> for all the research that he's done. It's, it's really, I mean, we can, thank, we can thank the staff here as well, the numbers of volunteers volunteers that we have here today. If it wasn't for their help, this wouldn't be on the air, but if it wasn't for Al's great research, um, I'd be sitting there here saying, uh, uh, well, coming up next. Well, it's so, teamwork. That's what it's all about. It's teamwork, one another <laughs> helping each other. Each person had a specific job to do, and we try to do each job. And you did your job very well. Okay, well, we're still waiting at this time for the next group. So we're just going to wait here along with you guys. We're going to take a look at some of the beautiful things that you see out here. As we, all as the we, happy people that we see along up with us here. It's it's great to see the people coming out three deep. I mean, you can't say enough good things about the people in the city of Revere. Mm -hmm. They really come out and support the you know support the community in the, in the best way that they can by showing their support for the organizations that have come by so far. Okay, great. And at, 
this time we want to thank our, we're going to our, thank support, our crew. support crew. We're going to thank our We're going to thank Mike and Bunny Evendahl, Joe James, Gary James, Joan Anderson, Ellen Elder, Mick Mullaney, Marianne James, Peter Tarsi, Mark Wright, Warren Richardson, Vicki Richardson. Uh, and Russ Hannigan. Well, Russ Hannigan, too, and Danielle Stasio as well. If it wasn't for their help, again, this parade wouldn't be possible. But a special thanks has to go to to the program director, Russ Hannigan, for the for the good job he did in organizing this group together. Thank you very much, Russ. Makes, again, our job a whole lot easier to do. <laughs> We're located at the reviewing stand here on Revere Street, right behind St. Anthony's Church. And again, the weather is absolutely beautiful. And right now it looks, is there someone coming? No, I guess not. I was just looking down the street a little bit. And we also have to commend the police department, the Revere Police Department, on doing a great job of keeping people back on the streets, getting the, getting the people through the parade. Also, I haven't seen any of the um, spray stuff that was here last year. The police department has done a great job, and the mayor's office has done also a good job in sending notices out to local businesses, urging, urging the businesses not to sell the sprays and things like that that could hurt somebody. Mm -hmm in the crowd as well as one of the participants in the parade. I'll tell you one thing, it's a very active crowd, as you can see. There are a lot of very happy kids running around, and you see, of course, there's something, the balloons, and um, showing off the signs of, um, let's see, we have, what is it, um, Malone, I believe, and we have William Well, of course, who's running for governor this term. And <coughs> A number of different, uh, it's really, it's an animated crowd. It's nice to see that. Very animated crowd. And we're just waiting for another division to come in. Yeah, well, right now we're still waiting at this time. We're just right now, perhaps we're going into Division 2. That's more than likely the case. If it is Division 2, we start with the Sa Saugus High School Band. They'll be the first group from Division 2. That is, of course, if it is Division 2. We may still be with Division 1 now. So if we are with Division 1, then we're still waiting for groups like the Northeast Regional School Committee, uh, the Buccaneers Drum and Bugle Corps, the Salem Color Guard, and the Colonial Pipers and Bagpipers. I know that they're there, as well as other groups. So we're, we're still waiting for them. They may have just been pushed back to the second group, more than likely. <coughs> Excuse me. And on our reviewing stand is uh, Father Menner from uh, St. Anthony's Church, oh. enjoying the parade. Also amongst here on the stand, as well as Mary Ann James, who was the camera person here, as well as Warren Richardson, who was assisting us to make sure that we don't fall off the stand, I guess. Uh, he's helping us organize things because it is a little, as I've said before, a little on the windy side, so it gets a little difficult to uh, keep things all in control. So he's doing a very good job in helping us along. Have you done? Oh, I see that here on the reviewing stand we have Christopher Columbus here himself. How are you doing, Mr. Mr. Stringy? Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm Mr. Master Marino. Oh. Uh, 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 Stringy had a, a sickness in the family. Oh, I'm maker. sorry. Well, you're not taping me now, are you? No. Well, actually, no. Huh? we are taping no. it right now. You want to yeah, we'll face the camera that Yeah, way? you can face the camera yeah. right over here. Here is Christopher Columbus himself. Yeah, yeah. Anthony Buffy Mastro Marino. Okay. I've been shooting for Stringy. had a sickness in the family. Glad to do it. Nice day, nice parade. I like the garb. Is that, is that the garb that they have? Yeah, you see the mantle. This is it right here. It's really very nice. Nice sword and nice <laughs> yeah. cap there. Yeah, it's not bad at all. If you could explain to us, explain to us the, the garment that you're wearing. <laughs> Well, I guess he doesn't want to explain to us the guard. <laughs> hey, well, hey, what's the? That's the way it is. Anyway, we've got a number of members of the school committee and the um, school committee and the city city councilors. We have, all right, Mr. Caparelli. How are you? Doing very well. I like the flower there. Very nice. City paper. Oh, city paper. Oh, wow. <laughs> what do you think of the 1994 Columbus Day Parade thus far? I thought so far excellent. You know, God is always good to us. You notice the clouds. They predicted rain, but uh, you look up 
upstairs, and uh, God's been good to us, I guess, with the sun. A beautiful day for a parade. What do you think of the crowd coming out this afternoon? Well, last year, was, I think, was a little bit greater. But, I mean, we still have a good crowd. I mean, these people here are from Revere. So, uh, and that's what the parade is for. It's for Revere residents. And uh, whoever wants to come, they're all welcome anyway. But, uh, you know, we have a, I think we have a pretty fair crowd. Oh, well, I'm very happy that you're here, and I'm glad to. I'm, it My is pleasure. a beautiful day. Right? My pleasure. I always look forward to marching in this parade because I think it's an honor, okay, to represent, you know, as, as a member of the school committee, to represent the uh, city. And I feel it's an honor to go by and meet the people. You know, you don't meet them until you, it's election time. So it's like, uh, well, I wouldn't say it's part of politicking, but uh, I, I just think it's great just seeing all the people that you haven't seen for a long, long time. Good. Okay, well, thank so you. it's almost like a, a family coming together again. Right. And I think we need a lot more of these, you know, for all the problems and crises and so forth and so on. I just feel as though, you know, I think we should have more of these, you know what I mean? Yeah. It just kind of brings the people together and it makes everybody happy. The, the children are happy. and I mean, that's the name of the game, you know? And, uh... I think it's going great. Thank you, thank you for having yeah, me. Thank, thank you, you very much. Again. Again. Thank you very much. Okay, looks like the parade is resuming again. Okay, great. We politicians march fast. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we have the Sons of Italy. We have the Sons of Italy Drum and Bugle Corps, which is up ahead. They are. They play. Um, they're from Haverhill, Massachusetts, and directed by Larry Galero, I believe. Very good, Evo. Thank you very much. And uh, they're a community favorite with their red and green uniforms, and I believe that is what they're wearing. Yes, they are. Uniforms, which and is the colors of the Italian flag, of course. They play Italian music. And we hope that they are. They hope they. We hope that they will stop in front of the reviewing stand and perform for us. I know. I know. The last couple of years that I've been here, whenever they have stopped in front of the reviewing stand to play, the crowd goes bananas. Nice. Nice to know that. As you can see, they're from Haverhill, Massachusetts, the Drum and Bugle Corps. Again, they're called the Sons of Italy Drum and Bugle. Looks like you're going to get your wish. They're going to stand here and they're going to perform for us here in front of the viewing stand. Well, in a few minutes, you're going to hear this crowd go bananas. That is correct. Now, as you can see. I'm already done with it. Here on the stand with us is members of the school committee as well as the city councilors. How's your wife? Right there. It's an awfully big group, isn't it, huh? I didn't realize how what a big group it is.
Evo, right on schedule. That was the Sons of Italy Drum and Bugle Corps, the crowd giving them a nice round of applause. Again, they're from Haverhill, Massachusetts, and directed by Larry Galero. Thank you very much for their performance there. And coming into view now is Jerry Malone, and a candidate strike. for district attorney. And he is a Democrat. Former district court prosecutor. There he is. Joining us here on the review stand is some of the city's finest elected officials, Arthur Guarnasso, Peter Martino, Dick Penn, Denise Salemi, just to name a few. Just to name a few. We've got all of them, it seems, up here. In fact, they're blocking our view. <laughs> now we'll go for real. Almost. As you can see in your shot there, there are many of the dignitaries here of Revere. Uh, we have described many of the, those who are already here. We, we have Mr. Col Stephen Colarassi as well, and Mr. Arthur F. Guarnasso. And I'm trying to see who else is here. I believe Mr. Jordan is up here. And they're waving to the crowd, to the constituents. Now, basically, we're just waiting for the next group to come in. Joining us now is Father Menner from St. Anthony's Church. Father, you couldn't have asked for a nicer day. Did you pray for this day? Hey, we, we pray every day for beautiful weather, you know. Of course, we need we need rain, too. But, hey, when we have days like, especially these days, you know, uh, with the parade, everyone out, look at them all enjoying themselves out there in front of St. Anthony's out there. St. Anthony always comes through, you know. Um, uh, we, we all love the sun. And, I mean, I, I had a little... Fear last night, you know, when I heard the weather forecast, I would I was supposed to have rain all night coming into the morning. I says, oh, 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 I wonder what's going to happen today. But yes, yes, I did. Uh, in my mass this morning, I did, I did pray, Lord, remember all of us in Revere. I mean, we have a nice day to enjoy and, and, and celebrate the great honor uh, that Christopher Columbus has brought to us, certainly. What does Christopher Columbus mean to you? You know, growing up, Growing up, 
uh, my folks had a great uh, honor and respect for Columbus. Of course, they came from Italy, you know, and uh, um, I, was, I, was, I was born just two weeks after my parents came over. And um, we have uh, the honor there of having a statue of Christopher Columbus there. That Not was, to interrupt uh, both of you, but uh, we have uh, represent the treasurer of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, Joe Malone, right in front of us here at the reviewing stand, not to be rude. But uh, <clears throat> he's right now in the midst of shaking hands with uh, actually one of our gaffers, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Joe James, a wonderful guy he is. And... Um, and see, he's, yep, he's right here in front of us. I've always um, liked his ads on the radio. It's really, they're always very cute. Anyway, I'm sorry to interrupt. No, 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 that's okay. I understand. I'm sure that everybody would like to get their little uh, pointers brought up, you know, as each moment comes. But uh, just to return back to uh, Christopher Columbus, you know, uh, we're honored to have that statue there of, of Christopher before us there at St. Anthony's. And as you notice there, he has one finger pointing towards Earth with the globe that he has there with him that he um, uh, came over to discover the new world, you know, in his uh, ambitious spirit out there, knowing that the world was not flat as they made there. And, of course, the other finger is pointing to heaven, and which, you know, for us, um, the, the parish out there and having the spiritual value out there, heaven and earth. I mean, uh, this is what we have today with the sunshine out there, God giving us the the sunshine, the beautiful day in our world here where we're enjoying one another through the parade itself. We just want to thank St. Anthony's Church, yourself, and everyone that's been involved with the parade. Thank you very much for allowing us to be here today. We all appreciate that very much, certainly. Whatever we can do, we'd like to help the community and all. Great. Great. Thank you. Good. Thank, thank you. you. Well, right now, coming up next is the... I just want to make sure that we've got this right here. We've got the district attorney. Let's take a look at the name here, Ralph Martin. And it says they're making a difference for Suffolk County. So he is right now next on our list here. Right. Ralph Martin was appointed to district attorney after Newman Flanagan accepted his Washington post. Okay. And we wish him well in his upcoming election day. We certainly do. We wish all the those who are for our election the best of luck no matter what what party affiliation they are. Of course KBL T V three is not party affiliated to one of the one of the others, so we wish everybody the best of luck. That's with all sincerity. It was nice to see Father Mena stop by and talk with us for a few minutes. It certainly was. Unfortunately I was preoccupied to seeing what was happening down down the street here. <laughs> Gaffers was just, one of our crew was just mentioning when he was talking to Mr. Joe Malone, our president treasurer, he was just mentioning, oh, I've got to know somebody in this parade. <laughs> Everybody knows somebody in the parade. That's what a parade is all about. It certainly is. You get to know the people that you already know. It's almost like a family atmosphere. It's, well, that's what it's meant to be. It is. Parades are meant to be for families. Henceforth, we have the family atmosphere. And we also want to uh, point out that uh, Lee Nugent is also in the parade today. She is the advocate for for District Attorney Ralph Martin, and she's also the president of Pop Warner Football. We wish Vicki the best. Okay, well, that's great. Ralph Martin working the crowd, shaking hands with everyone. And the, coming into view now is the Salem Honorary Guard. Uh, that's right. The Salem Color Guard, is it? Right. They're an honorary Salem. guard from Salem, Massachusetts. They were established on 1927, it looks like. December 4th of 1927. Good to see them. Okay, and it looks 
looks like we have the also in the Colonial coming. Piper's bagpipe and also the tobacco control program led by Natalie Cohen. Followed by Attorney General Janice Berry. We wish her well. Yeah, we wish everybody well. Coming in now is the Revere Beach Cyclone. We'll all remember that well down down at the Revere Beach. Yeah, I've seen old photos of that, and actually I've seen uh, videotapes of that as well. And I see that we have some cheerleaders. Yes, they are the um, Pop Warner cheerleaders. Oh, okay. A great group of kids. They do such a great job at Pop Warner football games. And in a few years, we're going to see these cheerleaders cheering at the Varsity High School Certainly will. football Cheer and basketball and games. That's correct. Wow, isn't that amazing, Evo? It's the Cyclone Roller Coaster from Revere Beast, Massachusetts from 1925 until 1969. Yeah, they did a very good uh, job of restoring that. I, did, I know that Maureen Hayes did a wonderful uh, piece on that, and it was restored by Renta Tool Incorporated of Revere, Massachusetts. And right behind them are the cheerleaders. Now, these look like to be the also Pokemon. Right now they're doing a little chair for us. Well, not for us necessarily, but we're going to chair for the crowd. And we want to, and we want to point out one quick thing: that these cheerleaders do such a great job. They have to be really dedicated to do cheerleading with Pop Warner football. There's a countless hours of practice. They just work just as hard as the football players during the course of the year. They certainly do. What you see there, of course, is a close-up of the kids cheering away. It's nice to see that they're so happy. Of course, it's a beautiful day, and we keep saying that a hundred times, but it really is. And it really keeps the spirits up, especially on a beautiful holiday day and such. And following this wonderful group will be, looks to me, the Saugus High School Band. Right, that'll be Division Two. That is correct. Just for some information, they performed at the Saga Sachem's High School Games and directed by Jeff, Jeff Waywood. Raywood, excuse me. Jeff Raywood. So they'll be following this wonderful group of cheerleaders. Yep, Saga's High School, Sachem's. The cheerleaders are dressed in the Saugus High School Sachem dress uniform. Yep, it looks like it. Beautiful uniform. It really is. It's gorgeous. Yeah, very pretty. Very pretty uniform. I like the colors. And it looks like they also have their, their guard as well. Performing their um, the acts. I'm sure they do all the during all of their, their home games and Thanksgiving games as well. Nice to see them here performing. And following them is, of course, the Saugus High School Band itself. Again, led by Jeff Raywood. Doing a great job of staying in tone with the parade. Yes, sir. Yes, we are. Fine looking group. They do Saugus very proud. Okay, well, next coming up will be the 10th Massachusetts Volunteer Regiment. Its first sergeant is Alan Gutius.
And now coming in is the Greater Boston Pipe Band. They are preserving Celtic music and art. Its director is Andrew McIntosh, and they come out of Randolph, Massachusetts. And Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy. I didn't realize Kermit was so tall. Hey, look at Ernie. Yeah, Ernie. <coughs> well, Kurt. And they're playing with the kids there. I can say they're just handshaking the kids. There. That's always going to make a highlight for a, for a child in a parade, seeing his favorite characters come out and, and being able to touch them and talk to them and everything like that. What's also, it's unbelievable. What's also great about it is the fact that it's on KBL TV3, so that they, you know, can watch it as many times as they wish. They just videotape it, and there it is. Yeah. Okay, coming up next is Dartmouth High School Band. And let's I'm going to let you pronounce this one. Okay, directed by Gilbert Madrigal. Very nice. Well, that's my mother's maiden name. That's why I know that. And they're wearing beautiful uniforms, the green and white, and they're out of Dartmouth, Massachusetts. Where I, I believe it's, yeah, that's in the South Shore. Although there is a Dartmouth College up in New Hampshire. This is not the same, same place. And right here is... Taking a guess here, but it looks like it's St. Teresa's drill team. That would be a guess. Oh, is it the same group, part? Yes, it is. Okay, part. What a large group. Yeah. Boy, they have grown from last year when we last saw them. I wasn't aware of that. I was so stunned that they were such a big group. Sharp as ever. Sharp, certainly sharp. The crowd giving them a nice round of applause. That was the Dartmouth High School Band. Coming into view now is the St. Teresa's drill team. Okay, they're located, for, or they're from Everett, Massachusetts, and led by the manager, Tony. Tony Baldiato. Yep, 25 years of marching. That's how many years they've got. And also, St. Teresa's Little Flowers are leading the pack. Isn't that cute? a close-up of the group there, the St. Teresa's drill team. Coming into view now is Domino's Pizza, located on Broadway. And this is the new spicy buffalo wings that they offer. Maybe after the parade we can go and get some. Oh, sure. Why not? You can you can take some of those buffalo wings. That's a little too strong for me, but the buffalo wings. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how you doing there, Mr. Buffalo Wings? Okay. Of course, after the show, we'll actually be eating that particular buffalo. That's, that's right. 
scheduled up next, if they stay in this order, will be the Spotlight Theater Company. Yeah, they're a performing theater company, obviously. You know where they're, they're from? They're from out here in Revere, is that correct? The Spotlight Theater Company is performing Annie at in Malden at Malden High School. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, yes, Malden, not from here. Hey, Mr. Hess. Oh. Well, looks like we've uh, taking a look further, and so we're just basically waiting at this time. and myself, as well as Arthur Manasso. Dick Penn. Dick Penn, Denise Salemi, the mayor, Robert Hass, Father Mena, and Paul Cacciola. Oh, you got a big crowd here. Yes, Paul Cacciola, the chairman of the parade. I must say, I'm very impressed with Mr. Guanasso's uh, tie. I love the tie. Handpicked by my wife. Handpicked by Hand picked by my wife for Columbus Day only. I, I like it. I like it a lot. I happy family wins with the what the wife picks out. Nice. <laughs> happy family always. The wife always buys the ties, and I, at least in his house. And I've always noted the fact that he always wonderful looking ties and so. <laughs> And as we said, it's the Spotlight Theater Company performing Annie at Malden High School. It's like they're performing. They're going to be performing Annie uh, starting on October 14th. It's a little difficult to see. October 14th, 15th, and 16th. That is correct. And they're out of, as we noted, Malden High School, the Jenkins Auditorium. If, to the viewers at home, if you've never seen the play, Annie, please go out and see that play because it is a great play. Well, didn't you perform it at any point? No. No, you never performed it? You never played Annie or any of those other games? No, I can't say that I did. Okay, and for those who are the visually impaired and just want to, and want to see the play or tell people that, you know, that, that Annie's going to be out on October 14th, 15th, and 16th, phone numbers were 846-6622 and 284-8947. And we've got Annie right on top of the Jeep there. Why don't you describe it to the viewers at home? Well, I mean, basically we have Annie with her red curly hair. And behind the Jeep, we have a number, I believe, the cast members of the actual show. And I believe they are going to do a little performance from it. Okay. Let's, let's enjoy. First, the director is going to inform the crowd, the orphans, where to actually sit.
at Malden High School. Spotlight Theater Company. Okay, they'll be performing October 14th, 15th, and 16th. Nice job. I knew that that was Annie on top. And you How did you know it was Annie? Okay, it's just me. I had, Maybe it's just me, but I think it has something to do with the, the curly hair and the fact that it was red. Really? Yes, and also she was the only one with the microphone. <laughs> Evo, that's why you're co-hosting this year. Well, yeah, because I make such astute observations. Rescue team group. Better known as HIRT. H-I-R-T. Beautiful looking crowd here with beautiful dresses. Happen to know who they are, Al? We believe it is the Agnes Strecker Dance Studio. Okay. And of course we also have Big Bird and Barney. <laughs> They always seem to get into the parade, don't they? Yes, they seem to. More recently, Barney. I, you know, it's all Big Bird and Ernie and, <laughs> and the Sesame Group has been in parades since probably the late 60s. Ooh. And next, well, next we have the Agnes. Agnes Strecker presents Encore 30. Being escorted by a beautiful float from Lakes Auto. And I believe the Agnes Strecker dance team will perform.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Agnes Strecker Dance Studio from Revere, Massachusetts, performing Encore 30. All great, great musicians and performers. As well as dancers and so and um, tap dancers. Now they get to go on their little card and move Take on their way. I'll tell you something, uh, tap dancing in the, in the streets, in the concrete here, is not the easiest thing to do. So no, it certainly it's isn't. Wonderful, wonderful job that they did there. That was a great, great performance. It certainly was. continues with more cast members in the same group. Wow, another very big group we have here. Tells you how important this parade is for here in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. You know what it's a you know it's a great sign, Evo? What is that about? Is that when you can see a group one year and come back the next year and you've seen them grow. That's a great, great sign. That certainly is. And it looks like here that this is also still members of the, the Agnes Strecker dance studio. Now scheduled is the Boston City Band. And they're located in Franklin, Massachusetts. Okay, and executive coordinator Ross Weissman. 15 to 20 people and the strike up the band essentially. So again, the Boston City Band will be getting out. You can see them on your screen. Be Marissa Vozella. That is correct. And coming into view now is the Revere High School Varsity Cheerleaders. They cheer at all football and basketball games during the course of the year, and they do a great job. Also in that group is the Revere High School Junior Varsity Cheerleaders and the Revere High School Pep Squad. All doing a great job. And actually, they're going to perform for us.
combined effort of the Revere High School Varsity Cheerleaders, Junior Varsity Cheerleaders, and the High School Pep Squad. Excellent job. As we just talked about the Pep Squad, there they are. A fine-looking group. They perform at rallies and cheer at various sporting events during the course of the year. Next, a Roma band out of Boston, Massachusetts, and they perform Italian American music. They're known throughout the Northeast. They also appear at festivals in the North End. Its business manager is C. William Jones. Okay, and let's give a listen to them. the Roma Band of the North End performing. Also coming into view is Ed Markey's crew. And Ed Markey has been representing Rivera in Congress and several of the other communities for a number of years. That is correct. And there he is, Ed Markey himself. at Markey is the Revere Girl Scouts of Revere. Also behind the Revere Girl Scouts are the Brownies. You just heard it by by Mr. Edward Markey. He's saying that this is the best parade he's ever seen. Well, that's nice to hear. Well, what a nice compliment. Yeah, well, that's great to hear that from him. Well, being a beautiful day, it is. That's helped it quite a bit, too. Now, of course, we have the Revere Girl Scouts. And also the Revere Brownies. Brownies that's correct.
Edward Markey shaking hands with his constituents here in the city of Revere. To me, they're going to be giving the Edward Marquis crew a little bit of room, so that's basically why the Revere Girl Scouts are there waiting. So we'll be just waiting for a moment before they actually march. And here they come. They are now marching. A fine-looking group that oh, they are. Certainly. Followed and by the Girl Scouts of Regus, is it? And it's the Browning Troop 112, sponsored by A.C. Whalen School. Also behind them is another group of Girl Scouts, Troop 115. Troop 115, that's correct. What's on the screen right now is Girl Scouts of Regas Brownie Troop 112. That's what you see here on screen. Boy, what a nice group. Yeah, it looks like they're singing a song here, perhaps as a, a little uh, cheer for the Girl Scouts. Followed by the Girl Scouts Regis Troop 86, Revere Troop 913, and Troop 115. So that's what you see in front of you right now. And they're waving up here at the reviewing stand. We also have Brownie Troop 122 coming into view. Also, Junior Troop 123. Brownie Troop number 40. And it keeps going. <laughs> it keeps going and going. Nice to see. Number 40. And if we can make out this one, uh, Revere Brownie Troop 142. Mm -hmm. Again, another organization that is very dedicated. The people that help the, these Girl Scouts, these Brownies, do an excellent job of keeping these kids, you know, keeping these kids, giving these kids activities to do week in and week out. I mean, it's a terrific organization. Right. I noticed with the Revere Brownie Troop 142, and I guess with the group beforehand, when you see there are fingerprints with their names underneath it, which I find very cute. So you see names like uh, Katie and, and Maria, and they all have pink and yellow fingerprints of themselves, which they all just, you know, as a big participatory group. This has to be a big thrill for the kids, you know, to be able to march in a parade, see their friends, see their parents, and say, hey, I'm the center of attention for a few minutes. I think it's great. Yeah, true. I don't, well, the center of attention here over the entire city, which is nice to see. I remember marching in a parade when I was in... I was back, I think, eight or nine years old for the, the uh, Little League. And I remember what a thrill that was. It's the same idea, you know, you have a center of attention for a period of time. And what you see now is some close-ups of some of the kids enjoying themselves. Up ahead, we have um, troop number 33. And that's what you see there. All the wonderful little kids um, waving to each other. And another group coming in is the Boy Scouts. And it's the packs of our ladies of lords right here in the city of revere that is correct it looks to me that they have a girl scouts girl scout signups on october 12th at 7 p.m at the lake in the school so if any of you were interested in joining the Girl Scouts, October 12th at 7 p.m. at the Lincoln School. And what you see right now are some members of the Cub Scouts. And it looks like they're members of the Boy Scouts as well. So Boy Scouts, Cub Scouts. Below Coming into view now is the Order of the Sons of Italy, the Giuseppe Mazzini Lodge 1115 from Revere, Massachusetts. You did a great job with that, I didn't it? Thank you. You're welcome. Very good job in pronouncing something. I wouldn't have even come close to 
Okay, next we have the Citations Drummond Bugle Corps. They're located in Burlington, Mass. Coordinator Director Bill Gavina. Very nice job. Thank you very well. They they look like they're doing a very nice job. We want to tell the viewers at home that the Citations, along with some of the other drum and bugle corps, they spend countless hours of practicing. And what you see out here this afternoon is, a, is an accomplishment in itself. The hard work, the dedication that goes in, and how perfect they are out here. That's correct. gentlemen, the Citations Drum and Bugle Corps, located in Burlington, Massachusetts, under the coordinating director of Bill Garvina. Nice job there, camera work there anyway. This is right in the middle of the street there, and you can see uh, both sides of the citation from and bugle for. We gotta give Dave Stasha a lot of credit on that shot. Certainly did a nice job there. Next come the Little League Champs. And we have uh, the girls. The softball. The softball, the Flyers, and, and the Blue Jays, who you kept announcing. Yep, absolutely. We congratulate the Blue Jays on a great season. They did an excellent job. Certainly did. Also coming into view is the Revere Karate Academy. Club. Karate Academy, is it? Yes, it is. It's yes. the Revere Karate Academy. They perform all kinds of karate moves, and they're located on Broadway. What and they're going to perform for us.
parade there, the karate club. They always do an outstanding job at every parade that I've been in. They perform very, very well. Okay, and the performance continues. Great job. Behind the Revere Karate Academy is the Revere Little League. The Angels. The Angels, yeah. We were talking about that the other day. I knew the Blue Jays was also winners, too, but the Angels are of a different league. Right. I, I, They're the Hill Park group. I see. Ladies and gentlemen, a band that is just unbelievable. They are the Tony Barry Matching Concert Band. We're going to listen to them a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tony Barry Marching Concert Band out of Saugus, Massachusetts. They are a comical music group, all accomplished musicians. Coming in, the city champs, the Orioles. They are the major league, under the major league division. Okay, and coming up next is Revere Youth Hockey. Its president is Danny Maniff. They do a great job here in the city teaching the young people the game of hockey. It has over 500 youth in the organization. They teach skill and sportsmanship. And they also have an exchange program up in Canada, which is a great time. Looks like they're giving out some hats there to the crowd here. Looks like they're coming up to the review stand here, and they just handed a cap to our mayor. Pass. It looks like a Patriots cap that they handed to us here. They're good hats. Yeah, they're like great them. hats. They're handing them out. Staff, 
Revere Youth Hockey, as there you see their team sponsors. Each one of those sponsors really cares about the kids here in the city of Revere. We want to promote the sport of hockey, which is a wonderful sport. We really do like the sport of hockey. It's an enjoyable sport to watch and to play. Absolutely. And they want the people, with the, the kids over here, to have the opportunity to play hockey. I know I've seen a surge in hockey in the last few years, thanks to the new hockey got commissioner, Gary Bateman, who's done a great job of bringing the sport back as one of the major sports in the country. That is correct, and you see that number of the, uh, I believe that was, that would probably be Pee Wee League, right? Pee Wee League, um, well, I can't confirm if there's a Pee Wee League, but... We do have a number of uh, hockey players here in uniform. Who knows? Maybe we'll have a Wayne Gretzky, a Bobby Orr come out of this group someday. Yeah, perhaps. They're not, not impossible. <laughs> I just, want, I just want to say to the viewers at home that the Revere Youth Hockey, St. Mary's Baseball, all the organizations that I've had the great fortune of being connected with EVO are great, great people. I wanted to make a public acknowledgement of that. I think they are all a great people, and they deserve a tremendous amount of credit. The Crusaders is a senior drum and bugle corps. They are the alumni group made up of former Boston Crusaders, and they're currently celebrating their 50th anniversary, and they've marched in a number of Columbus Day parades here in the city of Revere.
crew of the Boston Crusaders doing a fine job. We also want to point out one other quick note to the to the senior alumni crew of the Boston Crusaders. They were instrumental in getting the 27th Lancers back together again, Evo. He certainly is. Looks like we have another dance company. Let's see if we can find out exactly which one it is. That's the Nicole Zervitas Dance Group. As we look for notes to see um, who was the director of that organization. Time. It looks like they're going to have a little performance for us here in front. School of Dance teaches various stages of dance.
coming into view now is some of our characters from various storybooks. Winnie the Pooh, Sinbad, from The Lion King, and from the Dalmatians. It's good, very good. I see that you've been keeping up with the uh, times as far as oh, Winnie the Pooh, of course. Keeping up with the times as far as the numbers of cartoon characters that exist. Mostly Disney characters, I believe. Yes, they are. The Lion King and uh, from the Dalmatians. The Dalmatians. And coming up next... According to our lineup sheet here, it would be the Satellite's Winter Color Guard, but we think that's not correct. Well, we'll find out. Actually, it's a correction. It's part of the Romer Band. Massachusetts, led by Nunzio Ciccarelli, manager of the group, and they have marched for many, many years. So the rumor group was not, in fact, we, broken up. Right. We, we apologize for that because their uniforms are similar. That is, well, now we have the unicyclists, the cycling Murrays. They're a family operation. Tara, Dawn, Keegan, Jean, and Joner, and they perform throughout New England. And last year they were in 45 parades and other activities. They're quite the performers. operation protecting the citizens of Revere from crime and they're also involved with a program called Night Out. Following them is the Prospect Drum Corps. 
established in 1949, and they're from Prospect, Connecticut. And Hamden, Connecticut, excuse me. This is their first time in the parade, and Vice President Tom Henry. That's a beautiful little job there with the baton. Oh my goodness, she threw that a good 30 feet up in the air. And followed by the Space State Strutters out of Woburn, Massachusetts. No, oh, excuse me, they're the Prospect Drum Corps. They're, yes, the same group as before, the Hamden, Connecticut. And again, this is their first time in the parade. State Strutters, and they are from Woburn, Massachusetts, and they are a, obviously a local dance group. Performing countless number of parades, performances, and other activities throughout New England. Next we have the Beantown Trolley Sightseeing Trolley. Let's see who is performing in there. As um, Al takes a look through his notes to see who is actually performing there. That's the Bridgewater Brass Band and Trolley. They perform right on the trolley. Some of the songs that they sing in the mood for love, Moonlight, Serenade, and Many Years in the Parade. As they are performing right now. Massachusetts, Ringmaster Reno Lovelli, and Clown Director Bob Soros. And this is their first time in the parade, and let's go enjoy them. the Repair Kiwanis Club. They're a local businessmen uh, concerned with the community activities and they sponsor, they have events like Jail Day and Special Olympics. And what you see there is the Jail Day um, Repairs Kiwanis car. And um, that was my first job here at the and coming into view now is the Westport High School Marching Band. They perform in many of high school competitions throughout throughout the state, Evo. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah. Well, that's all that um, research that you've done that produces all that information. <laughs> We want to point out the band director is Scott Frost from for the Westport High School Band. Okay, 
next coming is the Revere Rotary Club, and they're a community group involved with community activities. The Rotary Club and the Kiwanis Club do so much wonderful work here in the city of Revere. They work hand-in-hand, -hand, helping to make the community much better for many of its residents. Right, you'll notice that uh, City Council Caporelli just just walked by um, Representative Paparelli from the City Council. Mayor, you did a great job in putting together a super parade. Absolutely tremendous parade, you know, and they really concluded with the uh, Lancers coming back. Absolutely tremendous. A two and a half hour parade uh, uh, to see the young kids in their march and, you know, uh, the batonas, the uh, twirlers, the, uh, the bands. Uh, this is probably the best we've had so far, without question. I think we were very lucky in the fact that this was such a beautiful day. It was like in about the mid-60s and couldn't ask for a better day for a parade. When we woke up this morning, it wasn't that, uh, you know, it was overcast, etc. And uh, we spoke to Father Manor here at St. Anthony's and he gave us that almighty blessing. That's right. And all of a sudden, you know, blue skies for the rest of the day. Absolutely beautiful. How much preparation went into preparing for this year's parade? You know, it's funny when you look at it, you think, you know, we just organize it within a week. Uh, they've probably been working on this for six months. We, uh, we started today for next year's parade with the various bands that were in the, uh, the parade. Before they left, they come up here and indicated if they want to stay for next year or not. And believe it or not, we start today for next year. But as far as the actual major uh, uh, participa participation organization is within the last six months. We worked on as late as this morning. The two people that stand out in my mind we gave a great mention to is from your office, Elaine Savatelli, and also Jerry Foley. Right. Without question, those two put it together, but you really can't forget Paul Cacciola, you know, my administrative assistant, because Paul arrived at 4 o'clock this morning to make sure everything was in line. Uh, you know, it's like Murphy's Law. If something's going to happen, it's going to happen. If we want to make sure if something did happen uh, negatively, we can immediately step in. And I don't, I didn't hear one thing negative about it, uh, nothing but positive. You can hear the people going by, you know, commending uh, us and you people for a job well done. Uh, they're very happy. When people look at the people out there, they're going away with smiles on their face. That's what it's all about. I think the greatest compliment was paid to you when uh, Congressman Edward Markey said, Mr. Mayor, great parade. Ed, you know, uh, joined on it today. He walked the whole length of it. Uh, Ed's been here for many pro many uh, parades since 1980. Uh, and again, it takes many people to make it happen, not just one person. Like we mentioned Elaine, we mentioned uh, Jerry Foley, Paul Cacciola, but it's all the little people behind the scenes. They really make it happen. The people who are in charge of the various uh, groups out there, the people, the kids who donate their time to be some of the animated characters, you know, all of the volunteerism. Today, three people got paid. And that's what it's all about, all volunteerism, et cetera. And again, it takes everyone to make it happen. And what can we see in next year's parade? Well, you know, the last year was a good one. This was even better. And uh, we'll start tomorrow to see what we can do to make it better. You know, there's always ways we can improve upon it and get more participation from the community. And that's what we're going to try to do for next year's parade. And we want to wish you the best of luck. Thanks, Al. Job well done for everyone, for you people. And I'm sure this is going to be viewed on uh, cable many times. And I'll be naturally there to watch it. See, you know, we miss a lot when you're here, really. You see them passing you by, you know. A lot of the parades stop here, but you miss a lot of things that may happen throughout the, uh, the viewing area. Very good, Al. Thank you. Thank you. Super. East Bridgewater High School Band from East Bridgewater, Massachusetts. Its music director is Daniel London, and they performed last year. I like their uniforms. Nice blue, light blue color they have in their caps with the white feathers. And here we come next, Miss Revere Preteen Junior, and she, her name is Marissa Vazelli. Now, was she here earlier? Or is that? I believe that was another, another Miss America. Okay. Well, this one is the Miss Revere Preteen Junior America, and her name is Marissa Vazelli. And one of the antique cars is a 1951 Cadillac. Wow. I like that car. Look at the look at the fins on that. It looks mm. cool. Yeah, it does. Cool. <laughs> Of course, you're seeing a shot of the preteen, Marissa Vazelli. And next is the Loyal uh, Order of Moose in Revere Moose Lodge 1272. The slogan is Just Say No to Drugs. And we also want to point out that the Revere Moose Club has been very good to KBLE and many of its organizations that cable and 
Cable and the organizations have come together to help sponsor telephones. We thank the Revere Moose for their generosity. Okay, next comes the St. Patrick's Color Guard of Stoneham. Its coordinating director is Diane Discato. It's their 45th year in the parade, and they hail from Stoneham, Massachusetts. Next is uh, Senator Edward Kennedy. He's a senior senator from, of course, Massachusetts. He has been in office since 1962. He's a Democrat. He'll be running since November. And he actually took the seat. I don't know if you know this or not, from uh, his brother, John F. John F. Um, got elected in 1956 into the Senate and stayed for four years and then, of course, became president. And for two years, that seat was vacated. And his brother took over from there. So and you see right now is Edward Moore Kennedy. And also in that group is a very famous person here in the city of Revere. We're talking about Representative William Reinstein. He's a crowd favorite. You can hear the you can hear the applause for him. gentlemen coming into view now is one of Revere's favorite groups, the 27th Lancers Alumni Drum and Bugle Corps, based in Revere. And this afternoon, the group is dressed in full British attire. It's their second year in the parade. Its founder is George Bonfilio.
Ladies and gentlemen, the 27th Lancers Alumni Drum and Bugle Corps. What a great performance. And we also... Alumni Drum and Bugle Corps. We're glad to have them back in the city. Okay, that looks like that's the end of that performance there. Wasn't quite sure what they were going to be doing next, but that's two beautiful songs they put together. Really well done. Just to expand on the founder, George Bonfilio, he's been associated with marching bands for 40 years. Wow. Also one of the distinguished members of the 27th Lancers, we mentioned him earlier in the program, Jerry Foley. That is correct. strong what a big room. as there you see now two city vehicles moving in Revere's got some fine fine city equipment that is correct all shinied and gussied up for this parade And coming into view now is the fire department. It's field operations of Lifeline. Lifeline does a tremendous job with many of the communities it serves. And, of course, we can't say enough good things about the Revere Fire Department. There we see one of its proud engines into view. Well... That's the end of the 1994 Columbus Day Parade, and what a parade it was, Evo. It certainly was a phenomenal parade, as um, we get the opportunity to see uh, members of our crew, and it's including you and I, and here we are. You can see us right there on the camera. I don't know where the camera is, but anyway. <laughs> oh, there we are. Anyway, this has been a really fun day. It's, it was a long parade, but it was well worth the wait in some cases. It certainly was a great parade here in the city of Revere. You can't say enough good things about the parade. You can't say enough good things about the people that helped put this together. Jerry Foley, Paul Cacciola, Elaine Salvatelli, the mayor himself. They did, they did a wonderful job in getting, getting the 
people that they thought would really entertain the people here in the city of Revere, especially the 27th alumni crew of the Lancers, the Boston Crusaders returning. I mean, what more can you ask in a parade? Well, I, I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank the crew here at Continental Cable Vision. We have this fear of people that help us along. And um, first of all, we'd like to thank uh, Warren Richardson, who's right now behind camera one. I'd like to th um, thank Peter Tarsi. Right, so you want to help me out here? Sure. Joe James, uh, Mary Ann James. Um, who else uh, helped us here? Warren Richardson. Warren Richardson, his wife, Vicki. Um, Mike Evendahl and his, and his mother, excuse me, Bunny Evendahl. Mark Wright, David Stasio. A number at Ellen Elder. I mean, I know I'm forgetting some people here, but I'd like to thank all of them. And, of course, especially Russ Hannigan for uh, putting this all together. Thank you all very much for joining us here. For me, Evo Carmel and... Al DeTulio, we thank you very much. We hope you've enjoyed the 1994 Columbus Day Parade. It was a great parade. We also, again, want to thank Jerry Foley and Elaine Savatelli, who did a great job in assisting us in putting this parade together for you at home. Okay, well, thank you for watching us, and see you again.